Hi, welcome to my video on the review of fractions. Because this is a review of fractions, I, you can treat it as a probably a quiz or a test or whatever you want. And you can get a score out of 50. If you was from 1 to 18, you assign one mark for each answer. And questions 19 to 20, you get three marks for each word problem. And then the percentage correct, count up your number out of 50, convert it to multiplying by 2, a number out of 100, and then convert it to a percent, because percent means out of 100. Here we go. A review of fractions. For the fraction 3 over 4, the denominator is, sorry, the denominator is 3, the denominator is 4. State the fraction representing the shaded region. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 blocks all together. And we have 5 shaded. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which fraction is equivalent to 2 fifths? Well, let's reduce. 2 into 6 goes 3. 2 into 10 goes 5. Nope. 8 over 15. 8 is even. 15 is not even. And there's no common factor, so you can't reduce it. 16 and 20, 4 is a common factor, GCF. 4 into 16 goes 4, 4 into 20 goes 5. So it must be 12 over 30 must be the answer. Let's see. 6 into 12 goes 2, 6 into 30 goes 5. So D is the answer. State the fraction equivalent to 5 over 6 with a denominator of 42. So if you take 5 over 6 and you want to make it a denominator of 42, well, that means the 6 has to be multiplied by a 7. So if the 6 is multiplied by 7, the 5 has got to be multiplied by 7. So the answer is 35 over 42 as an equivalent fraction. 35 over 42. Let's reduce to lowest terms, which means simplify cancel out the um, factors that are 4 and 12 have a GCF of 4. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 12 goes 3, one third. 10 and 5 ends in a 0 and 5, so it's divisible by 5. 5 into 10 is 2, 5 into 45 is 9, 5 9 to 45. 18 and 21, I see a 3, 3 into 18 is 6, 3 into 21 is 7. Notice that 1 and 8 adds up to 9, so it's a multiple of 9 or a multiple of 3. 21 and 1 adds up to 3, which is a, sorry, which is a, the sum of the digits adds up to 3. It's a multiple of 3, so therefore it's divisible by 3. Let's find the LCD of these fractions. 6 and 9, 6 is 2 times 3. 9 is 3 times 3. 9 is 3 squared. So the LCD is a 2 and a 3, which are my factors, and you pick the highest exponent of each one. So a 3 has a 2, so 3 squared times 2 is 9 times 2, so the GCF, or sorry, the LCD is 18. 18. So I'm circling the answers now, so you'll know where they are. 8 is 2 times 4. 4 is 2 times 2. 20 is, oh, let's finish this one off, 2 cubed. 20 is 2 times 10, and 10 is 2 times 5. So that's 2 times 2 is 2 squared times 5. And we have to write down each factor of a 2 and a 5. The largest exponent of 2 is 3. And we have 1, 5, so 2, two cubed is 8. 5, 8 are 40. So 40 is your LCD. LCD, remember, is the same as the least common multiple. 12 is 2 times 6. 6 is 2 times 3. So that's 2 squared times 3. 9 is 3 times 3, which is 3 squared. 18 is 2 times 9. 9 is 3 times 3. So that's a 2 
times a three, and there's two threes, so it's three squared. So I need to take one of each vector. I need to take one, two, and one, three. The highest power of two is two. The highest power of three is two. Four nines are 36. So 36 is your LCD. 33 and 15 denominators, 33 is 3 times 11. 15 is 3 times 5. So the LCD is 3 times 5 times 11. You need one factor of each, and the highest exponent is 1, so 15 times 11 is 165. You check with your calculator. Let's simplify number 7. When we add fractions, we need a common denominator. The common denominator is already 10, so we add the numerators. 2 plus 6 is 8, and 2 is common, GCF. 2 and 8 goes 4, 2 and 10 goes 5. B, we're going to subtract. Subtracting fractions, we need a common denominator. It's already 12. So 7 subtract 12 is 2. 2 over 12 can reduce down. 2 and 2 goes once. 2 and 12 goes 6. C. Adding and subtracting fractions, a common denominator. It's already 27. Write it down. 17 plus 8 is 25. And 25 minus 7 is 18. And what's the GCF in 18 and 27? I could do a 9 and get a 2 and a 3. But what about if you see a a 3, and you go 3 and 18 is 6, 3 and 27 goes 9. But you notice 6 and 9 have a 3 in, as a GCF, so 3 and 6 goes 2, 3 and 9 goes 3. So if you divide by 3 and then 3 again, okay. If you divide both by 9, great, get there faster. But always remember when you reduce to make sure the fraction you get is fully simplified. Make sure. Number eight, simplify each. Now I have to add and subtract fractions in this section right here, and I need a common denominator. So eight is two times four, which is two times two. So that's two cubed. Six is two times three, and so we got a two and a three. So the LCD is two times three. Highest power of two is three. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 is my LCD. So that means that 8 into 24 goes 3. So I need a 3 over 3. 6 into 24 goes 4. So I need a 4 over 4 to make it equivalent. So that gives me 3 threes are 9 over 24. Plus 1 times 4 is 4. And 6 times 4 is 24. The GCF is 24. You could have looked at 8 and 6 and worked them out by listing them, but again, this prime factorization is the best way, I find. 24 is your common denominator. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 is prime and can't reduce. 10 and 15 are your, L, are your denominators. 10 is 2 times 5. 15 is 3 times 5. So that means you have a 2 and a 3 and a 5. And so that makes a 6 times 5, 30 is your LCD. That means you multiply the 10 by 3, because 10 goes into 30 three times. So you put it over 3. 15 goes into 30, 30 twice. So you put 2 over 2 to balance them, equivalent fractions. So 3 times 10 is 30. 3 times 9 is 27. 15 times 2 is 30. 4 times 2 is 8. Common denominator is 30. And you go 27, subtract 8, is 19. And 19 is prime. You can't reduce any lower. And we got subtraction and addition. We need a common denominator. If you see that 20 is the largest denominator, and 4 and 5 are multiples, are factors of 20, therefore the LCD right away is a 20. That means we multiply 5 by 4 to get 20. So it's 4 on top and bottom. 20 is already an LCD, so we don't have to change it. 4 times 5 makes 20, so I need 5 on the top to balance it. So I have 16 over 20. Subtract 3 over 20. Plus 
3 times 5 is 15 over 20. Common denominator is 20, so I have to 16 subtract 3 is 13. 13 plus 15 is 28. And I can reduce this if I want. 14 over 10. And I want to reduce it again. It's 7 over 5. I could have divided by 4 right away. But if I divide by 2 and then 2 again, I'll still get there. 5 and the 7 goes once, and there's 2 left over. So it's 5 and 2 7. To multiply back. 1 times 7. Oh, that's a, see, I checked myself. I put a 7 down there by mistake. So when I check back, 1 times 5 plus 2, I had a 7. So I would have got a 9. So again, that's a 5 right there. Express each mixed number as an improper fraction. So you get 4 times a 5 plus a 2 over 5. So 4 times 5 plus 2. That gives you 22 over 5 as an improper fraction. 2 times 8 plus 3. 2 times 8 plus 3 over 8. 16 and 3 is 19. 19 over 8 is an improper fraction. You don't have to write all of them like I'm doing. If you want, you just say 4 or 5 to 20 plus 2 and go 22 over 5. Express an improper fraction as a mixed number. So 3 divides into 13. 13 is on, 3 is on the bottom. 3 into 13 goes 4. 3 fours are 12 and subtract to get a 1. So the answer is 4 and 1 over 4. Again, notice the answers. Highlight the answers for you. That's one and two-fifths. The answers are in, cir in circles. And the answer here is uh, four and one quarter. Nine into 60. Five nines are 45, six nines are 54. And you subtract uh, 10, that's a 10 and that's a five. So 10 subtract four or six. So the answer is six and six over nine. But 6 and 6 over 9, 6 over 9, 3 into 6 goes 2, 3 into 9 goes 3. So, there it is as a mixed number, simplified. Simplify. Notice we have an um, improper fraction here. So this is 4 plus 9 over 8. So that's 4 plus 8 into 9 goes once, 1 left over. So it's 1 eighth, 1 and 1 eighth. That makes it 5 and 1 eighth. 7 over 2 is improper. So, so 7 over 3, sorry. 3 into 7 goes 2 and 1 left over. And that makes it 8 and 1 third as simplified. You can't leave it as 7 over 3. You always have to write a mixed number fully simplified with the natural number and the fraction. Number 12, simplify each. We're adding mixed numerals. So we have common denominators, great. So we have a 10 denominator. 1 plus 4 is 5. 3 plus 6 is 9. But 5 over 10 can reduce. 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 10 goes 2. So that's the answer. And we subtract over here, but we need common denominators. Common denominator for 4 and 2 is 4. So we multiply by 2 over 2. That gives us 9 and 3 quarters. Subtract 7. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Because we have the common denominator of 4, we can now subtract 3. Subtract 2 is 1. 9 subtract 7 is 2. So 2 and 1 quarter is the answer. C, common denominator for 10 and 25. Well, if you can see that a common denominator is a multiple, so 50 is a multiple of 25, and 50 is a multiple of 10. So if we multiply 10 by 5, we get 50, and 25 by 2, we get 50. So that gives us 3 fives are 15 over 50. And it also gives us 24, 12 times 2, 25 times 2 is 50. Now we have a common denominator of 50. 15 plus 24 is 39. 
and 5 plus 3 is 8. 39 cannot reduce down. There's a 3 in here because it adds up. The digits adds up to be a 12, which is a multiple of 3. 3 goes into 39. 3 times give you 13, but 50 doesn't have a 3 or a 13. Can't go any lower. D, subtract here. Notice you have a 2. Subtract 5. That's negative. We don't want a negative. So what we have to do is make the 8 a 7 and 8 is 1. So you take 1 off the 8, make it a 7, and place the 1 with the 2 ninths. That gives you uh, 7. 1 times 9 is 9, plus 2 is 11 over 9. 3, 5 over 9. Now we can subtract 11, take away 5, or subtract 5 is 6 over common denominator of 9. 7 subtract 3 is 4. And notice that, oh, okay, 3 into 6 goes 2, 3 into 9 goes 3. So 4 and 2 thirds is the answer to D. 8 and 39 over 50 is the answer to C. Continue. Remember, we're reviewing all the videos that we have, that I have done on fractions. I think there's 12 of them. So this review sheet is reviewing all of them. Cancel fractions. Canceling fractions can only be done when you're adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. And the answer is multiplication. You can only cancel factors of fractions. You can only cancel the factors if you're multiplying fractions. Multiplication of fractions. And this brings us to number 14. Because we're multiplying, we can cancel anywhere from top to bottom. Only cancel in multiplication. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 3 once. 5 goes into 5 once. 5 goes into 10 twice. And that gives you 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. We're multiplying, so we cancel. 8, 4 into 8 goes 2, 4 into 12 goes 3. 11 into 11 goes once, 11 into 22 goes 2. Notice we're going from top to bottom. And 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 2 once. So I can cancel anywhere. 8 can cancel with 4 this way, or 8 can cancel with the 22 this way, as long as you're multiplying top to bottom. So that gives us 1 over 3. Change mixed numerals to improper fractions. 1 plus 4, 1 times 4 plus 3 is 7 over 4. 21 times 2 is 42 plus 8 is 50 over 21. Again, we're multiplying, so we have to cancel. 7 and 7 goes once, 7 and 21 goes 3. 2 into 4 goes 2, 2 into 50 goes 25. So that gives us 1 times 25 is a 25. 2 times 3 is 6. 6 into 25 goes 4. 4, 6 is 24. 1 left over, so it's 1 over 6. 4 and 1 over 6. We're multiplying. We don't have any mixed numerals, so we just cancel anywhere from top to bottom. So if I want to take the 4 on the top and cancel into the 8 twice, I can. If I want to take the 5, divide into 10 twice, 5 into 15 goes 3. If I want to take the 2 and divide it into the 6, I get a 3. I'm dividing both numbers by 2. If I want to take the 3, divide by 3, 9 divided by 3, and I have a 1 times 5 times 1 is 5, 2 times 3 times 1 is 6, notice 5 over 6, fully reduced. 5 is prime. 15, let's square. 4 fifths squared is 4 fifths times 4 fifths. 16 over 25. Cubed is 2 times 2 times 2. 2 cubed is 8. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27. C, I have to simplify the inside of the bracket first because it's a mixed numeral. So best to make it 7 over 3. 1 times 4 plus 3 is 7 over, whoops, 7 over 4. 
And when I square seven, seven sevens are 49. And four fours are 16. 16 divides into 49 three times. That gives you 48, one left over, so it's over 16. That's the correct answer. 16, we're dividing and multiplying here, so let's see what happens when you, when you divide fractions. Division of fractions, you change the division to a multiplication sign, and you get the reciprocal, which is 6 over 7. Turn it upside down. Because you're multiplying like up here, we cancel top to bottom. 7 and the 7 goes once. 7 and the 7 goes once. 3 and the 6 goes 2. 3 and the 9 goes 3. And that gives us 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Final answer. Mixed numerals for improper fractions. First, 1 times 5 plus 3 is 8. 2 times 15 is 30, so I get 32 over 15. 8 over 5, dividing, I multiply by the reciprocal, 15 over 32. Because I'm multiplying, I cancel. 8 into 8 goes once, 8 into 32 goes 4. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 15 goes 3. 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4. 4 reduces, 3 quarters. C, I have a mixed numeral, so let's change that first. 5 over 6, divided by. 2 nines are 18, plus 8 is 26 over 9. Okay? 5 times 5 is 25, plus 1 is 26 over 5. So now I am dividing, I just div as I work left to right, but it's division and multiplication. So let's get rid of the division sign. We multiply by the reciprocal, 9 over 26. 26 over 9, 9 over 26. Now we have all multiplication, so now we can cancel anywhere from top to bottom because we're multiplying. 5 goes into 5 once, 5 into 5 once. 26 goes into 26 once, 26 goes into once. So I get a 9, oh, I see a 3 into 6 goes 2. 3 into 9 goes 3, and that becomes 1 times 3 times 1 is 3, 2 times 1 times 1 is 2, and 3, 2 divided into 3 is 1, and 1 left over, a half. 17, simplify. I have to do by, remember, PINDAS, P-E-N-D-A-S, order of operations. We do brackets or, expo brackets or parentheses first. Then we do exponents, then we do multiplication and or division left to right, and then addition and subtraction left to right. So I have to do inside the brackets first. A half, subtract a half is a zero. Now I'm ready to multiply. Six times zero is zero. So that's the answer. And let's continue. 18 looks like we have brackets, exponents, multiplication, division. So we have to go with P-E-M-D-A-S. But also remember, there's some students use bed, P-E-D-M-A-S. So it's the same thing. P, parentheses, B, brackets, same thing. E is exponents. Multiplication, division, division, multiplication, left to right, addition, subtraction. So I have to do A. I have to do the inside of the bracket first. 8 is the common denominator, 7 subtract 1 is 6. Simplify your bracket before you go further. Always makes it easier in math. Always simplify. So 3 quarters squared, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16. Done. Now we have no uh, brackets or brackets, no parentheses. We have no exponents, so we have to multiply and divide. So I could work at this multiplication first, but let's not touch that. Let's just get rid of this division. Leave the subtraction alone. So 22 is over 1, so that becomes multiplied by 1 over 22. So my division is changed by multiplying by the reciprocal. Now I have to multiply and multiply before I subtract the order of operations. Uh, brackets, exponents. Multiplication, division, left to right. 
cancel. Seven goes into seven once. Three goes into nine, three. Three goes into 12, four. So that gives me three quarters. 11 goes into 11 once. 11 goes into 22 twice. So that gives me one times one is one. Let's put it down there. Let's ignore that there. So notice I multiplied each time and I left my subtraction to last. Common denominator is 4, so 3 subtract 1 is 2, and 2 over 4, 2 into 2 goes once, 2 into 4 goes 2, so a half is the answer. C. I have uh, brackets to do, so let's do the brackets first. The LCD, least common multiple is 6 for 6 and 3. So I multiply one third by two over two. That gives me five over six, subtract two over six. And inside the brackets, I could work on the inside of this bracket first, change the mixed number to the improper fraction. One times two plus one is three over two cubed. This bracket is not finished yet, so I will make that. 6 is a common denominator, 5 minus 2 is 3. 6 over 3 reduces to 1 over 2, we divide each number by 3. So it's fully simplified. Notice I'm writing down every step. The brackets are fully simplified. Done. Now you could shorten it up and don't, you know, do your working somewhere else. As long as you go from here to here, but showing every step, if you make a mistake, you can find it. Now we have to do, got the brackets all finished, we do exponents. A half squared, one times one is one. Two squared is two times two is four. Divide it by. Cube is three cubed is 27. Two cubed is eight, <clears throat> excuse me. Now I have the brackets done, I have to do division. One quarter times the reciprocal, eight over 27. Because I'm multiplying, I cancel. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 8 goes 2. And that will give me 2 over 27. That's my final answer. D, I have no brackets to simplify because that's 5 over 3. That's the best you can make it. I have to do my exponent next. So 5 squared is 25. 3 squared squared is 9. So we got that done. Again, you got to do your brackets, exponents, we got to do multiplication, division as you go left to right. But before we multiply or divide, we have to change to improper fractions. 3 times 5, 15, plus 3 is 18. 25 over 9 divided by 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. Now we're dividing, so let's multiply by the reciprocal first to get rid of the division. Because I got multiplication division, I change it all to multiplication. And because I'm multiplying now, I can cancel anywhere from top to bottom. Anywhere from top to bottom. So 9 to 9 goes once, 9 to 18 goes 2. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 25 goes 5. 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 15 goes 3. That gives me 2 times 1 times 7. So that makes it 14 on top. 1 times 1 times 3 is 3. 3 into 14 goes 4, gives me a 12, and there's 2 left over. So it's 4 and 2 thirds. Now, the last on the agenda here is word problems. Always Always good to do a few word problems. So, let's read. A large container has 300 colored boxes of white, blue, and red color. The number of white boxes is 4 15 of the total. The number of blue boxes is 1 and 1 5 times the number of whites. How many boxes have red color? Well, we know that there's 300 here. Let's take this. If we call white boxes W, the white boxes is, that's the equal sign, 4 over 15 times the total, T. 
So that makes it 4 over 15 times 300 boxes. Put the 300 over 1. 15 goes into 15 once. 15 goes into 320 times. 15 and 30 goes 2 and a 0. And 4 times 20 is 80. So there's 80 white boxes. Now let's look at, read this sentence. The number of blue boxes, we call B, is, equal sign, 1 and 1 fifth times the number of white boxes. Okay. So as I read it, blue and white, easy. I'm trying to do, organize it like a little bit of algebra, but you don't have to. You could work it out without writing all these equations down. Don't have to. The white is 80. Ready to multiply? 1 times 5 plus 1 is 6 over 5 times 80. 80 is over 1. 5 into 80 goes once. Sorry, 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 80 goes 16. And 6 times 16 is 96. And that's if all of, if you take the white and you add on the blue and you add to the red boxes, you'll get the total. So the white is 80, the blue is 96. We don't know what the red is yet, but the total is 300. So if we add these up, we get a 176. 300. So the red, what number added to 176 gives you the red? Well, the red must be 300 subtract 176. So the red must be 124. Take your calculator, 300 to track 176, you get one. Or you can work it out like this. You have, don't have enough, so that becomes a 2, that becomes a 10. Not enough, so that becomes a 9, and that becomes a 10. 10 subtract 6 is 4. 9 subtract 7 is 2. 2, sub, two subtract 1 is 1. But a calculator works perfect. Now we have the last question. What we have in this question is we got two cars, A and B. Here's the speed of car A and the time. Here's the speed of car B and the time. So the, the question is worded, if both cars travel in the opposite direction. So if you're on a highway, don't have, the highway is going on and on. And if you start, if you move in opposite directions, from this, if you move on the same highway, you're driving on the same highway, moving in opposite directions, from the same location at the same time, how far apart are the two cars? Assuming the cars stop after the indicated time. So, if we're going in opposite direction, so car A could be going that way, and car B is going that way, and they're traveling in opposite directions. So when they're finished, how far apart are they? Well. Distance equals rate times time. So if you take car A first, you get the distance. The rate is 8 miles per hour. And the time is 5 and 3 quarter hours. Now most students wouldn't write down miles per hour divided in hours here. They'll just go 80 times 5 3 quarters. But I wrote this in because it, when you multiply rate times time, the, the time is on the bottom cancel with the time on the top. So that gives me the miles left. So the 80 miles times 20 plus 3 is 23 over 4. So when you're multiplying fractions, you cancel. 4 into 4 goes once, 20. And 20 times 23 is 460 miles. So that's car A down. Let's do car B. Distance equals rate times time. Car B, the rate is 75 miles per hour. The time is four and two-fifths hours. And again, the hours cancel out. And that gives you 75 miles times 
20 plus 2 is 22 over 5. And that's a 75. So 5 into 5 goes once. 5 into 75 goes 15. And 15 times 22, uh, that gives me um, 330. Check with your calculator. 330 miles. So how far are they apart? So the distance apart is... 460 plus 330 so that's 790 miles apart so if you're looking, grading this question you can give one mark for 460 one mark for 330 and then one mark for the total and when you're grading this question you can give one mark for 80 one mark for 96 and one mark for the red 124. That takes us through this video on a review of fractions. Remember, that's a review of the, the uh, 12 videos that I had before this in this section. And if you like what I'm doing, click the like button, click the subscribe, subscribe, subscribe button, sorry, click the notification bell, and you can write a comment. But if you can see down below, I have a math website, mathfullyexplained.com, which has information about me, my degrees and experience in teaching, and the teaching strategies I'm going to use in my videos. And it also has a section on content that gives you the topics, the number of videos I got on each topic. And the topics completed are in black, and the topics that I'm going to do in the future to be complete is in red. Hope you enjoyed my video. Bye-bye.